Hey, everybody, we are back for 2022. This is Zoom in on a fresh conversation. And tonight, our special guest is Mary Donaldson Underwood. Mary, thank you very much for being here with us this evening. Thank you for having me, Donna. Thank you for all for joining us. And for those of you who were at the book festival, I thank you. I cannot thank you enough for the time we had, the three days that we spent. It was just an awesome literary time. And for those of you who did not make it, please try to make it in 2023 because it will be bigger and better. And thank you all. Zoom in on a fresh conversation is brought to you by Milton McCulloch author of Love and Emancipation, and L.D. Robinson, owner and operator of Ladero Press, and a Dante production who has a full range of jazz coming up this year in 2022. And we will talk about that at the end of the show. And again, thank you everyone who came to the Fresh Book Festival, which is held 678 in the beautiful city of Daytona Beach, two weeks ago. Has it been two weeks? Oh, two weeks ago already. And uh, thank you again. If you have any questions for Mary, please leave them in the chat box. Uh, she will try to, we'll all try to get to them at the end of the show. And again, this conversation is being recorded. Evening, Mary, please take a moment to tell the audience just a little bit about yourself. Well, like you said, I'm Mary Underwood and I am a registered nurse. I live in Georgia, it's in Georgia, that's South Georgia, and I work for, I've been a nurse, oh gosh, since 2008, a registered nurse. I've been, um, started out in ICU, loved ICU. Um, after about 10 years, the older nurses were like, look, well, I, actually it was about after five years, the older nurses were like, you really need to go to another unit um, so you don't burn out. Well, I was like, no, I love the adrenaline. I love being an ICU nurse. So about after 10 years, I was like, I'm so burnt out. I'm so done. <laughs> so I went into home health um, just for a different pace. Mm -hmm. so I wouldn't be burnt out and just loved it. I found my niche. So mm. and that's where I've been ever since. So Mary and I met many, many years ago. I think Janice, you remember her husband was at the book festival. He is an author himself. And please tell um, your husband we said hello. No, it's not about him tonight, so we're not gonna talk about it. But anyway, uh, her, her husband's name is Russ Underwood. And uh, he was an author at the Fresh Book Festival five years ago. I believe it was five years ago. Five and years ago, yeah. Time. And daughters, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Time. Thank you we so much. We, we enjoyed having you. And so Mary, tell us about your wellness journey and how you decided that our alternative ways to heal the body was something you should explore. Well, this was something that happened quite by accident. And I remember Russ and I got married in 2015. And it was about three months after we got married that we went to, it was actually Green Cove Springs, Florida to be, okay. he was going to do a golf tournament with his brother. And so I, you know, the ladies did lunch while the guys golf. And I was sitting with my sister-in-law's friends while she was in a murder mystery lunch dinner thing. And so while we were there, I was sitting by a nurse practitioner on one side of me. And the other side was this little, cutest little girl. She was like a hippie, hair braided, so cute. And she was like, because we were in the medical field, she looked at me and the other girl. And, and she was like, have y'all heard about those oils from the Bible that, that are like healing cancer and she said, my friend, um, her daughter had a brain tumor, stage four brain tumor. And she said she would put the frankincense on her daughter's tongue and have her put it on the roof of her mouth. I think she said three times a day for 20 minutes. She said when she went back to have a PET scan, the MRI, whatever, she said it was completely gone. Mm. And we were like, okay, whatever. Um, nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. I'm medically trained, you know, I believe what the doctors tell me, whatever. So anyway, um, I was just like, whatever. But Donna, my, I don't know if you, you've you ever had this happen to you, but my spirit left that day. I knew, and when my spirit leaped, that means God is saying, tuck this away, treasure that, because it's mm -hmm. going to come up later in it's your gonna life. It's going to come back. It's going to come back. So fast forward about six months. My aunt called me. She had just moved back from California to take care of my grandmother, who 
was in her 90s, mm -hmm. um, early 90s. And she said, come down here quick. So I ran down to the house and my grandmother had had thyroid cancer in her 70s, 20 years prior. And she had the radiation, the surgery, they had nicked her vocal cords. She talked through a horse, everything. Well, it had come back with a vengeance and mm -hmm. she was hiding it from us because she was in her 90s. My granddaddy had died. She didn't want anything to do with surgery, radiation, none of that. So she hid it. And she, my aunt made her take off the scarf. And I kid you not, Donna, it was like a big Irish potato. Had mm, been right here, yeah. Right there um, in the worst place it could possibly be. And she's like, look, I know y'all are horrified. I'm sorry I hit it, but I've lived a good life. I, I just can't do this anymore. And I'm ready to go. Well, that was fine with me. I got it. My aunt got it. My sister got it. But me as a trained registered nurse, I knew two things were going to happen. One of two things. She was either going to mother because it was going to cut her airway off or right. she was going to start because she couldn't swallow food so I was like horrified so about that time my spirit left and the frankincense popped in my mind I did not know anything about those oils I just thought we've got to try it you know because that's no way to die that's not a either way is not a good way so I went to my local pharmacy and I said I know this sounds crazy because I knew the pharmacist and I said, do you have frankincense oil? And she said, I sure do. She said, but let me ask you, what do you want it for? Oh, right. And I said, a cancer tumor, you know, because I'm the medically trained nurse. And she said, yep. She said, but let me give you some information. So just luckily, by the grace of God, I believe it was Young Living. Because it is important that you, that you know where your oil comes from and that it's the pure therapeutic grade and there's no fillers, preservatives, that kind of thing. So I took it home, took it to my grandmother and I told her, I said, mama, this is something I want you to try. Um, and my aunt was like, what is that? And I said, <laughs> and she's like, from the Bible? And I was like, yes. And she just rolled her eyes. And my grandmother was like, well, let me smell it. So that was the first time I, and I told him about the story that I had heard. And I said, what have we got to lose? And my grandmother goes, nothing, let me smell it. So <laughs> that little bottle, and I'll never forget it. it it's like it's hardwired in your DNA. It, it's something about the oils of the Bible. And I teach a class on that too, if anybody's ever interested. Um, the Bible mentions the oils over 1,100 times. But when I smelled it, it's like I knew that smell, although I had never smelled it before. Mm. And my aunt knew it. And um, my sister knew it. And so my grandmother's like, oh, I love this. I'm going to wear it like perfume. And so she just put it on. And then about, I don't know what has to do with these oils in 48 hours. My aunt called me in hysterics 48 hours later. And she goes, get down here. So I ran down there again. And it was half the size. And I kid you not, it was purple, green, and yellow. Like a healing bruise. And I said, mm. mama healing and she said I know and my aunt was just like what have you done to mother this is so bizarre <laughs> and I'm like the oil is working it's drying up it was big and black because it had its own aggressive blood supply right and it was cutting off that blood supply and I promise you in two weeks there was no sign of a tumor so that and hospice never had to come in that kind of thing she didn't die from that. I mean, her heart just quit beating in her sleep, but we had her for years more than we should have had her. Mm. But me as a nurse again, that just everything I ever knew was trained on just kind of went out the window. So that started my journey. I wanted to know everything I possibly could about those little bottles of oils and how we got them, what was in them. Why didn't everybody know this? Why weren't the doctors giving us an ICU, you know? And so that's the journey that I was on or that I am on still to this day. And so that's my testimony. So for those who aren't familiar with the biblical oils, and they are frankincense, myrrh, and what's the other? Well, it's got Three. Old frankincense and myrrh. Um, I've got one here. There's hyssop, the aloe, mm -hmm. the myrtle, um, But the, the three myrtle. wise men brought three things, right? What were they? Uh, Frank, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Gold, and 
there is an oil called the three wise men and it has like three of the big gun oils in it and Rush uses that every single day um but the oils are amazing and there was 12 oils of the bible that me and my friend Brett we taught a class and we teach a class of the oils of the bible and there's 12 of them that we teach on but there's so many more but these oils I mean our medications came from somewhere and God right. you know there was a huge frankincense trade back in biblical times. Absolutely. Christ. And I mean, like the queen of Sheba, she valued like rose oil more than gold and silver. And they traded it like gold and silver. And it was because of its medicinal properties. But that's kind of been with big pharma. I hate to say it. They've kind of squashed that. And we talk about hair. But guys, I just want to let you know that like Latisse, and Rogaine, those hair growth products, uh, mm -hmm. products like the main ingredient in Latisse is lavender, hence the first two of the words, la, lavender. Lavender is a major potent um, hair grow, regrower. Um, rosemary oil is the main, is one of the main ingredients in Rogaine, hence ro, rosemary. So people oh my don't goodness. Know that. No, they really don't. So listen, there are several uh, organizations and products and companies out there that tout to be the best. So why is it you sp specifically chose this? One? Well, I don't guess I chose it. I, it chose you. Chose me, and I'm so grateful that it did. And the history of it, Gary Young started it in 1994. He actually started it. Um, a long time before that he was in a terrible logging accident broke just about every bone in his body shattered it shattered his spine and he lost his young wife she left him with his young children and he was he got a diagnosis from the doctors that you know you just you're paralyzed you'll be in a wheelchair for life and he refused to believe that and so he started a journey around the world and he learned the biblical ways of healing and how they distilled the oils. And I mean, he went all around the world for years, many, many years. But so, and, and a lot of the companies that are, are big in the essential oils spun off from his company, Young Living. And he has fought big pharma like you would not believe. He's gained a fortune, spent a fortune trying to fight them so they don't censor him. And he won. He has the only FDA approved line of essential oils for human consumption. Mm. And so that sets it apart. But he, this company is also the only company with the seed to still guarantee, which means by the time that you and I get this little bottle of oil, it hasn't been uh, checked for purity, not once, not twice, but three times. You can go to their farms all over the world anytime you want to and just stop in. They hand weed. They use their own oils as pesticides. They use no chemicals. And also to know that you've got a true essential oil, there's no expiration date on Young mm -hmm. Living. Because what goes rancid is your preservatives, your fillers, that kind of thing. So there's no like date or shelf life or end life to these oils as long as you keep them in a cool, dry place. So that's, to me, what sets Young Living apart. You, you get what you pay for, but you've got to be careful. You can't just go to Walmart and get an essential oil off the, the shelf because, like, what the FDA says is pure can be 10% of oil and 90% of fillers. So you have to be careful, and that can really hurt you. Preservatives can. And so I have so many friends, who, including myself at this time, who are having you know, difficulty with their hair. And I know ever since I've known you, you've had a full head of hair that's body-licious. And yeah. uh, we have uh, you know, problems with weaves and wigs and stress and medication. So tell me about this, um, is it a vitamin that uh, uh, essential oils has? Or what exactly is it that you take from that line that, that keeps your hair so healthy? Well, I've had my share with extensions and, and, and those good things too. And I know how it can break it off, damage it. But I take, I, I believe that it starts with the inside out, from the inside out. And But there's a supplement called Sulfurzyme. And sulfur is what we make naturally in our bodies. 
but it's for our hair, our nails, our teeth. We really need that sulfur. And I wish I had brought the product in here, but it has a lot of the essential oils in it. It has MSM, um, and that's good for your joints and your cartilage. But sulfur sum is good for everything, but it's really great for your hair and um, just keeping it moist and um, growing well. And But I also use the shampoos and there's there's three kind of shampoos um, that this line has. And I use the Copaiba and Copaiba, it, it, the Copaiba shampoo and conditioner, it is very moisturizing. Now, I, it's a learning curve because when you use these products, what lathers really good, Donna, in, in your most commercial products that you buy on the shelf is the sulfites, the paraffins, the bad things. And so um, I had to get used to it not really um, lathering, but once I used the, the healthy shampoo for a while and my hair really got healthier, now it does lather with the healthier product. But Copaiba is an ingredient that, that the healers in the Amazon use for to heal um, all kind of ailments, anything from um, stomach ulcers to cancer. It, it, I use it as a healthy alternative to steroids. Like mm. when I had a terrible cough not too long ago and nothing, I mean nothing. I think I had bronchitis. And nothing would help, especially at night, except pine oil mixed with copaiba, and I could sleep like a baby. But it, mm. it acts just like a natural steroid without the harsh side effects. And let me say this too as a disclaimer Young Living is not supposed to say that we cure or prevent or anything like that right. because of the FDA. They, they have been after us to shut us down forever, but I just want to share this with your. Zoom friend. Yeah. Um, but we can't tell our own testimony. I mean, we can tell this is what happened to me, you know. But the research is out there and it's just amazing. And they have all kind of products from your um, the, the single oils, the blends of oils to like your shampoos, your lotions to food products. It's amazing. I want to I want to specifically talk about three things. One is the uh, products for combination skin, dry or dry oily. I wanna talk about the coconut lime replenishing body butter. I'm gonna talk about yeah. that. And then I wanna talk about the Fema, Fema Gym capsules. So those three yeah. things, uh, your sure. skin combination skin products, oil essentials, coconut lime, replenishing body butter, it even sounds like it works. Um, and the Femogen capsules. Please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I'll start with the coconut lime replenishing body butter. It's it's amazing in that it's based, you know, I love shea butter products. You can't go wrong with shea butter. But to me, shea butter is a little bit greasy. Um, the coconut lime replenishing body butter, its base is mango butter. And if you've never used mango butter, it is a game changer. And then the lime essential oil is just amazing in and of by itself. And let, just saying this, it takes a margarita up in notches. <laughs> so you put it that was terrible, wasn't it? Um, but the oil in it, let's see, I've got it written down here. Um, it's all plant and oil based with the mango butter. It, this is just some of the ingredients, sunflower seed oil, jojoba oil, rose hips fruit oil, coconut oil, aloe leaf extract, rice bran oil, and it has the oils of lemon, lime, myrtle, orange, tangerine, grapefruit, mandarin, and spearmint. So talk about refreshing and invigorating, but mm. also it has that lemon and lime in it, the pure essential oils, when you use it on your elbows and your knees, mine get dark when they're really dry. But this will lighten your skin too with, with the lemon and lime um, essential oils in it. So that's just an extra plus on those hard chapped areas. And, you know, we're always putting our elbows on our, our, our chairs while we're sitting and, you know, and while you're eating or whatever on your desk. 
And so, yeah, they do get chopped and chased from just day to day. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's a little bit of this goes a long way and it's great for your heels. Just any of those super irritated chapped skin. Great for dry skin. Perfect for wintertime. So the combination skin products, oily. I saw that there were several on the uh, website. Is there any one in particular that you recommend? Oh my gosh, yes. It's the <laughs> Art Skin Care line. And I use the, uh, I made some notes on it so I could tell you. It is for the, the combination skin. And especially if you have um, the drier, the more, mm -hmm. the more drier. But I have combination skin. And I have menopausal skin. So I use the art. All oh, that um, kind of skin. <laughs> so I use the art light moisturizer and the two big guns in that is Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood and Frankincense. And Frankincense is known for its beauty um, benefits alone. I also use the toner, but just in the toner, I want to share the oils that's in that. It's peppermint, the Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood, Frankincense, Lavender, Lemon, and Melissa. And Melissa was what was in the, um, oh, I forget the name of the water, but the monks used it back in medieval times to heal everything. And so that toner has Melissa in it. And it's a game changer for your skin. And then I also use the uh, gentle, the art gentle cleanser with that. So that's the three, the light moisturizer, the toner, and the cleanser. Now, if you have, like my daughter has, she's younger, she's hormonal in a different way. And so she's got that oily skin, that acne mm -hmm. skin. And so she uses the orange blossom line because, you know, the orange in it. And some of the oils in it is lavender, patchouli. It has the lemon, the German chamomile for soothing, and rosemary. But she loves that, that line, the orange And, and the Femigil capsules. Oh, my gosh. Okay, the Femigen. Femigen, okay. Yes. Femigen, that is a natural estrogen. It's what I call bioidentical. It's what our bodies would make anyway. Uh -huh. And it is made from uh, whole foods such as wild yam. It's got Don Quai in it. Um, let's see, it has amino acids and some great essential oils. Let's see, and y'all will probably know some of these um, ingredients. It's got Don Quai. It has magnesium, demonia leaf, ginseng root, licorice root, black cohosh root. We've heard that before for hot flashes. L-carnitine, cramp bark, squaw vine, on and on and on. But the essential oils that are in it are fennel, clary sage, sage, and lang lang. And lang lang is a major aphrodisiac. Y'all didn't know that. Mm -hmm. But uh, you do two capsules twice a day and um, it's just a game changer in the way that you feel and this can be um, used in the developmental years all the way through menopause but it just helps balance the reproductive system and your hormones it also you also have a line for eyes I don't yeah. really have a lot of um, wrinkles around my eyes but I do have friends who have I do have bags right so what would you recommend since that's my problem are the bags under your eyes except more sleep um and maybe just to to tighten up the wrinkles around the mouth and the eyes well there is a there is an eye cream that they do it's they do. a very eye cream mm -hmm. but let me tell you about this and, and i drink these daily um this is the little pack it's called Ninxia wolfberry it's made from one place in china Ninxia china which is watered by these mountains where there's no people, there's no toxins. It's the pure water like God intended it. And, you know, our soil today is just really messed up from pesticides and things. An orange that we eat today, um, it would take eight of our oranges to equal one of our grandparents' oranges that they mm. ate in their day. The erosion of pesticides, and it's just, it's ruined our soil. So anyway... Long story short, Ninxia, um, it's on a, it's a superfood, and it's made from the wolfberry, like I said, but on the ORAC scale of antioxidant foods and superfoods, just as a comparison, kale has, and I wrote that down. Okay. I love kale. 
Kale has a score of 18. A cabbage has a scale of three. A mango has a number of three. Carrot is two, tomato is two. Nixia wolfberry is 303 on that scale. It is the highest antioxidant that you can eat in the world. Best superfood. So I had a friend who went to the doctor and when I met her, she wore Coke bottle glasses, I'm telling you. Um, she looks so young now. But anyway, she went to the doctor and she's like, I, I guess I need to go stronger on these. And so he, he said, Kathy, there's nothing wrong with you. You have 20-20 vision. I don't know what you're doing, but keep it up. But she was doing this religiously plus an oil blend that we have. Called, and there's lemongrass in it, frankincense. There's several of them. And I, I can get that for you guys if you're interested. But she literally reversed her eyesight. And I had a boss in Destin because I thought, okay, sure, whatever. But this this boss of mine was like, oh my gosh, you drink Nietzsche. She said, um, I, I've gotten rid of my glasses because of that. And I was like, really? She said, it reversed. She said, it's rare, but it can reverse your vision back to 2020. Mm -hmm. And there's also a product called Illuminize that has the Nietzsche too. It's a supplement. So I go to the regular uh, pharmacy and I buy vitamin B, D and other supplements. Tell me why essential oils, besides being FDA approved, are the, is, are the vitamins that I should take, the supplements I should take? Well, what sets it apart, especially the Young Living mm -hmm. brand, is the seed to seal guarantee. You know, they're not checked once for quality, not twice, but three times before it gets to you. Same with the vitamin supplements, but it also has so many of the essential oils added into that mm. to enhance it and give it that synergistic effect. So not only are you getting, yes, that great vitamin D or whatever, but you're getting those essential God-given oils that are going to make it work better and your body absorb it more and just you're going to get so much more benefits out of it. And I don't know if y'all read the um, the headlines about nature-made vitamins being petroleum-based. That, that kind of shocked me because like some of the things that Young Living doesn't have, I was using nature-made. So I've since changed that. So do your research on those guys. I didn't read about that. I don't, do I have any nature? I have to go. <laughs> to make sure I don't have any, right? Because when you uh, when you be, uh, turn 65, you can uh, be a part of um, a process where they send you all this stuff and you can order your vitamins. And so now I'm going to be really, you know, kind of looking at it twice before I decide to order, order it because I had no idea that Nature Made was in the middle of a, scandal about petroleum oh goodness that's terrible yeah so thank you for that thank you everybody you heard that <laughs> you know I'm, I'm glad you brought that up so mm -hmm. mm. now what caught my eye I guess about two weeks ago you did an impressive ingredient for healing bath recipe so I really want you to share that with us. I don't know whether you need to drop your camera or you're going to hold things up, but when you were online, you know, I could actually see all the ingredients, but uh, please tell us about that um, impressive healing bath recipe. Thank you. I'm so glad you saw that, but this is something that I started doing about five years ago when I first got into um, Young Living Oils. And what's so great about it is when you, you buy through a member and they're your educator. So I've had educators for a long time and the, the wealth of knowledge that they brought to me is amazing. But what I do with the wellness bath or basically what it is in, in, a, in a nutshell is it's a bath that you do. I do it once a week. You can do it more, but once a week is, is good for me. It's very strong. And like when we sit at our desk all day, you're getting that radiation in your body. Your skin absorbs everything from the perfume we spray on um, 
you know, to the aluminum that we put on in our deodorants, everything, but it even absorbs radiation, it absorbs pesticides from the air, fungus, yeast, molds, all kinds of things. So it's good um, to help it because not only does our liver get fatty and clogged up from the foods we eat, but also the air we breathe. And mm. this stuff goes into our organs, our visceral fat, and just sits there, our belly fat. Um, so what I have is a recipe that, um, it was actually a doctor that told us about it. But it um, it's only four ingredients, but it is, um, and you can do, I think what I shared is, like if you're not sick, you want to do the lower end of this. For instance, um, baking sodas in it. And it's great if you can do the aluminum free baking soda, but if you can't, good old Arm and Hammer's fine. It's what I always use. But you use one to two cups of baking soda per bath. Um, if I'm not sick or wanting to heavy, heavy metal detox, like if it's, uh, I'm just doing the maintenance, I'll do the one cup. So one to two cups of baking soda. One cup of borax, you can get borax. Walmart, um, anywhere that you get detergent. And then you can do one half to a cup of bentonite clay. And bentonite clay is a big gun as far as drawing out toxins. I got this at Hobby Lobby that you can order, and it's like $3 and some change for this little tub. But it's half a cup to a cup of that. This is also something I use in a... Um, underarm detox but your bath will do the same thing and then you want to do one to two cups of unscented epsom salt you don't want to use synthetic fragrance <clears throat> what i was going to show y'all but you want you can get this unscented as well this is dr teal's but borax and that's it the um one to two cups of baking soda the one cup of borax uh the one half cup to one cup of bentonite clay and one to two cups of unscented Epsom salt. And borax is made from the, the um, from boron, the element boron. And also, I don't like the um, dishwashing detergent, like the cascades and all. I can smell that. It'll about knock you out. The chemicals that are in there, just Google those. So instead of using that, I'll use borax with a little bit of purification essential oil. And it cleans your dishes just as good as Cascade in a healthy way. I remember my grandmother used to use 20, uh, 20 mules. What does it say? Yeah. It says 20 mules on the front, right? All oh, right. 20 mule team borax. I believe she washed clothes with it. Is that oh, correct? Yeah. It's amazing. And it gets your white so white. Yeah, isn't that, I, I haven't seen, I hadn't seen that box in many, many years until you brought it up. And I thought, well, you know, the older, wiser people really had, and she used to soak her feet in it. Oh, yeah, because it pulls out the top. She was smart. She was right. way uh, ahead of her time. <laughs> way ahead <laughs> of our time. So any, anyway, um, if you want the recipe again, you can reach Mary at uh, on Facebook. Is there another website or something they can reach you for that? I'd be glad to give them um, my number. My okay. Number. Okay. I can put it in the chat. I'm okay. Put it right over here. It's 229-646-9436. And if you have any questions or anything, you know, Feel free to call me, text me. I'll be glad to answer any questions. There is a question in the chat about arthritis. Is it, do, do you have anything in a Young Life Essential Oils that you could recommend? Well, we have, um, of course, the oils are great, but Sulfurzyme is a game changer for that because it has the MSM in it, it has the sulfur, and that's what you need to regenerate that cartilage and help those tendons be young and malleable again. But I would suggest for that the, um, the sulfurzyme. And I have a, I met him in Destin, Florida when I lived there. He's an ex-NBA player. And he used to buy the pan away from me like crazy. Um, it's code for pain away. And it has wintergreen, helichrysum, things that are really good for pain. So he liked that. 
Um, but I don't know if you know, peppermint oil has, it, it, it is a perfect match for pain receptor sites. And so I have a friend that has restless leg syndrome and, and arthritis mixed with her knees. And she, and she's a nurse also, but she says that is the only thing that helps her sleep at night and helps her arthritis pain. I do it with a carrier oil because just putting pure peppermint oil on your skin, it can burn because it's that minty. So you do, you do have to know what you're doing because some of the mints can be hot. But that's what I would suggest for arthritis, your peppermint oil or the Panaway blend. And I would suggest the Sulfurzyme supplement. If if any one of our audience members or on Facebook or YouTube wanted to be involved in, in this product, how would they do that? They, they would just reach out to a member, which you don't know a member. I'm, I'm a member. I'm your girl. Mm-hmm. You need me to. Um, and we'll just, like I said, I put my phone number in the chat. I can send it to Donna. You can find me on Facebook, Mary Donaldson Underwood. But I'll be glad to just shoot you my link. There's no minimums to buy. You just go, you just simply order. It's kind of like having a Sam's card. You have to go through a member to buy and that's it. You just have to do that one time. And then you've got that little education person that you can go to all the time. We're not going to drive you crazy, but we're there to teach you about these oils. It's It's a virtual person? It's a virtual. It would just be a contact person. Mm -hmm. So you have us for life. And so, so Mary, how long have you been involved with this product? As I said, when I brought this subject up, a friend of mine said 30 years, but now we've gotten it down to like 27, did we say 26 years? Uh, tw- it would be 26 years since that this product has been around. So how long have you been involved? Well, back since 2015. So that would be going on seven years, definitely six years. That was when um, I went and bought it right after Russ and I got married. So that was 2015. So definitely six years. But I just got in the past year really serious and passionate about making it a business, you know, and just traveling and spreading the word and and teaching people and uh, about the oils and what they do. And and then people say, well, it's expensive. Well, nature made is not expensive. And see what that did. Right. Well, you get what you pay for, honestly. You, get, you always do. Yeah. This is the way I look at it, really, Donna, is I can't tell you when I've been to the doctor for sickness. I go for prevention. But ever since I've been in the oils, if, if I do get sick, like I think I had bronchitis a few weeks ago, I treat myself. I know what to do. So by staying out of the doctor's office, I mean, right. how much is it worth? And how much was chem- would chemotherapy or radiation had been and trips to Emory for my grandmother? I mean, that we didn't have to go through again. And let me say this, when she did use the oils, you know, they nicked her vocal cords, um, the, fir- the first surgery. Her voice came back somewhat, not all the way. Right. She was worse. It was just amazing. It's just amazing. Mm-hmm. But to me, once you get into it and use them consistently, it the prevention, what do they say, an ounce of prevention, but it's worth yeah. everything, everything. <clears throat> Is there a package deal that they have? Like if I were to order, um, a, 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 what do I want to call it? Like first timers, right? Is what? there a first timers package that they uh, have? That they- there's okay. all kinds of, um, and what do they call it? The way I got into it, which I think is the best thing for your book, is I bought the, um, it's called a starter kit. So they have kits, starter kits. And I bought the, here's my little diffuser right here. I'm diffusing my oils. But this is the dew drop diffuser with the premium starter kit. And with that, you get 12 oils. You get the diffuser, lots of samples. And I know I'm going to forget something that's in there. But it's all the main oils, frankincense in there, lavenders in there, um, your pan away for the pain, your peppermint for the pain, um, all of that's in there. And it's like you get over $300 worth, close to $400 worth of oils for $164, I believe. Mm-hmm. And that's how I started. 
and I wouldn't trade that for anything. But you can you can start by just buying one bottle of lemon for eleven dollars or lip balm for four dollars, and you um, you're a member. It makes you a member. You just have to buy through somebody's link. And I just thank God that wow. <laughs> you know they crossed my path. Right. Exactly. My life, my husband's life for the better. For those of you who don't know, Mary looks exactly the same as she did six years ago. (laughs) And so if if you don't think that the things don't work, I mean, it's just like the, uh, what's the name of that picture? Dorian Gray. It just never changed. And so I do thank you for being with us this evening. um, Any questions from anyone? Please, if you do, please uh, put them in the chat box or open up your mics and we can ask Mary now. <clears throat> I, I do I do really want to know what exactly, I'm not real biblical, right? So what exactly is frankincense? Can you tell me what that is? I'm sorry, exactly what, what is? Frankincense. Oh, well, yes. Um, actually, it is from the Boswell tree. I actually have a little... Um, package of the resin you can actually buy the resin from mm-hmm. young living and and gary young kind of broke all records he got in the middle east in oman he partnered with these guys that never let anybody from america in there <laughs> good relationship with them so he they have what's called sacred frankincense which is from one place in oman but anyway it's a resin from the boswellia tree and sometimes mm-hmm. when my throat hurts i'll just pop a piece of resin in my mouth and talk about it's better than any cough drop. It's edible. It is edible. It is Mm. very edible. And I'm telling you, frankincense is good for everything, but it is a resin from a tree, basically. So thank thank you for that. I really wasn't sure what frankincense was. And so at the end of all of our presentations, we do ask our guests to give us a pearl of wisdom, if you would. Oh, goodness. I would just say, if I had to give a pearl of wisdom, just to let you know that that God gave us everything that we need to heal our bodies and to regenerate ourselves and to live long lives, way much longer than the average lifespan today. He gave it to us in the Garden of Eden, and it's still there today. If you just do your research, he will give you everything you need to know if you just reach out and research it. Reach out and research. So thank you so much. Mary Donaldson oh. Underwood, thank you for being with us. If you will leave your uh, www in the chat room, so everybody can kind of get it real quick. Uh, what is the third item in the bath mixture? <laughs> Tony. Third item in the bath: <clears throat> bentonite clay, half a cup to one cup. Bentonite clay. Bentonite. Mm-hmm. Bentonite. Mm-hmm. So, and Mary, I- why don't you put that on my um, Facebook page? Because all the people here are um, part of my Facebook page. You just put that bath ingredient because I I want it myself. And I'm real tickled about the borax thing because we used to think, oh, grandma, why are you always putting your feet in that stuff? You know, (laughs) and here we are, you know, 50 years later, here it comes again. So I thank you for that. And uh, thank you for sharing your time. Please tell your husband I said hello. Thank you so much. Thank you, Donna. Good night, everybody. Good night. I do have a commercial that I have to do really, really quickly. This is for Dante Productions. And uh, we have a collaboration. We're going to do jazz all year. Dante Productions, JW Promotions, LD Robinson, Ladero Press, and the Fresh Book Festival. And coming up in February, we have a show with Chris Clark who is classically trained in Juilliard, the Manhattan School of Music, Berkeley School. And they are going to be at the Ormond Theater on February the 26th. And they are going to do a presentation that's called Jazz Through the Ages. And it will ignite your curiosity. Hopefully we're gonna put this on video so everybody will be able to see it after the concert. Tickets are on sale now at Ormond Beach Performing Arts Center, Saturday, February 26, 7 p.m. Tickets in advance are $30 and at the door are $35. Please get your tickets at ormondbeach.org. That's at Dante Production, Fresh Boat Festival, JW Promotions, and Lodero Press Design. So thank you for everybody. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.